This podcast is presented by Zach Labs, Cosbot, the instant costume adhesive. Have you ever had issues using materials to build cosplay costumes, theater props, or everyday repair? We have the solution you've been looking for. Zach Labs proudly presents our latest product, Cosbond, the instant costume adhesive. What you get is a 8.5 by 12 inch sheet. You simply peel off both sides much like you would double stick tape. Except this isn't that. This is our patent pending microfiber infused adhesive that has a tensile strength of up to 100 pounds. This unique adhesive sheet is instant, and boy, do we mean instant. Activation is different than other products, as ours works purely by pressure. Simply peel and stick, applying even force, and it bonds. Instantly. It's human safe, non-toxic, pet safe, no fumes, and the best part, it won't ever stick to your hands. Rated for up to 75 wash cycles before starting to give. Great in the cold, rain, and even the heat. Stick anything to almost anything. Metals, plastics, most cloths, and best of all for all you cosplayers and costume builders, is all of your foam materials. While it does stick instantly, leave it alone with a bit of pressure for 24 hours and it cares to even stronger. So wave your magic wand and just use Cosbond, the instant costume adhesive. You are listening to a Dynamic Works Productions podcast. This show is available on iTunes, Stitcher Radio Network, and many, many more podcast services around the world. You can find all our content, music, videos, books, podcasts, and more on our website, www.dynamicworksproductions.com. Have questions, comments, or concerns for us? Head on over to the social tab on www.dynamicworksproductions.com if you'd like to talk to us. Now, on with the show. Fork in Your Ear podcast. I'm your host as always, author, podcaster, gamer, Tim K. Trotter. Joining me in the studio live to my left while we're playing some RPG goodness on the couch on our Nintendo Switch is the one, the only, the Bjorn of the Frost Marches, the the, the short hobbit footy, <laughs> footy guy of Steeler Rees. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Brag Lumas. How's it going? <laughs> Uh, it's going okay. It's going okay. Got a lot of my weekend filled up fast. Yeah, it a little like bit, a little bit bummed by that, but you know, it's fine. Uh, shout out to my friend Brian right now, who's in the hospital, uh, passing a kidney stone. Yet we have dinner plans to like after this show at six to uh, go eat some Thai food and see the new Aquaman movie. And he says, "No, no, I'll still make it." Even though he texted me a picture and he's in the hospital right now. So, you know, yeah, that's great. <laughs> also, kidney stones are not great. I have passed one myself. They are just worse. Have you ever had kidney stones? No, no, I have not. Have you had, had any kidney. kind of stone? Uh, like. Gallbladder stone? No, mm-hmm. I mean, I've gotten stoned. No. <laughs> but no, I have never well, passed anything other than like, you know, constipation. That's about the only thing I've ever, <laughs> ever passed. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. All right. So we are playing in the background here um, on the Switch uh, Nine Parchments, a game that I've had for two years, and I've tried to get to play it with uh, my girlfriend Jessica, but uh, it had a little bit of glitch at the beginning where I would keep accidentally locking onto her and killing her accidentally, like all the time. Ooh, I almost warped off the edge there. 
But in the meantime, we're going to spin the ring and get, uh, get into these topics here. And let's see what we land on first. Great spin. All right. Let's see. Let's... All right, that's Entertainment Water, which is kind of fantastic because there's a lot of shit going on entertainment-wise. So, let's see here. So, Hulu has signed a multi-year deal with Funmation Entertainment to expand their anime library as well as get uh, exclusive rights to the Funimation catalog uh which is pretty interesting considering Funimation has its own streaming service so they've obviously seen that they need um they need to uh, pair with some other people i guess i guess we have to level up things looks like or it's showing us what we can level up yeah why not? okay uh so what do you what do you think about Funimation signing a multi-year deal with Hulu. I'm super, super excited about it. Uh, I've always been a fairly, uh, a fairly big anime geek, but it uh, it always seemed like there was not a lot of uh, venues to watch aside from like going out and buying the the seasons or the the animes yourself. Um, that is until Hulu came along and started bringing uh, a lot of these really great animes. And now there's a guarantee to have these really great animes. Also with the localization and uh, <clears throat> dubbing going along with it, which is great. So that'll be nice. Yeah, I think it's interesting. Uh, it also comes fresh at the heels of... Uh... That Evangelion an announcement for Netflix. Yes. Which I believe Funimation is doing the movies for uh, the rebuild of Evangelion. Uh, but the president of Funimation is actually very displeased that uh, Evangelion sold to Netflix. Uh, because he's like, he feels they're not going to handle it correctly. Like he was, like he was causing a kerfuffle about I, it on the, on the interwebs. I don't see that happening. I think... I think Netflix will handle uh, Evangelion well. M maybe not to the best of the potential of, of Evangelion, but I don't think it's going to be bad, personally. Or at least I'm really hoping not. Um, so that would just be really sad. But at this point, all I've heard is that they're just... Uh, they're just getting the original anime, correct? From the late 80s, early 90s? Yeah, and the original movies. Okay. So That's I don't, my understanding. Yeah, so I don't see it being a huge, huge problem. <laughs> <laughs> he just jumped off a cliff. <laughs> That's all great. <laughs> um Oh, I think I have to be in your circle to resurrect you. There yeah. you go. Yeah, resurrected. So you got a right stick. And then we are. And then you can cycle between your Spells it looks like with the shoulder buttons. I gotcha. <laughs> I that's, broom you. That's how broom I was, you. That's, that's how broom. I was, <laughs> Brooming. We should probably not broom each other. <laughs> <laughs> um so I mean I think Netflix has a fairly good idea of what they're getting into, especially with yeah, how fanatical the fan base for Evangelion yeah, is. Straight up death threats on that one. Yes, they handle it wrong, so they. Well, I mean, you saw what happened to the original creator when. Oh yeah. The season finale came out for. The, the uh, yeah, the there's series. death threats. That's yeah. literally what I was talking about. Yeah, and then. Um, but the new movies, great. Yeah. Did you watch the third one? Yeah, I watched them all. You watched the third? Yeah, I still have it. It's just really good. Okay. Um. Yeah, as soon as I finished it, I started looking up release dates and all that stuff, and it's like been delayed, been delayed, <laughs> uh, potentially delayed ing for delaying ever. <laughs> yeah, basically, which sucks because I a lot of anime seem to be having that problem late lately, like uh, Overlord. They don't know when they're gonna release new episodes. Uh -huh. Um, I know. 
uh, Attack on Titan got delayed for like a year and a half. That was a while ago. Uh, I think, but, they're, think they're on, on course right now. No, they are on course now, but they were delayed for a long time. Right. Um, and I don't know if that's... But it was just due to like shitty planning, right? Uh, I never looked into that on Attack on Titan. I only just started watching it. Oh, really? Um, simply because... Well, I had other animes to watch. Like, I was watching um, uh, Naruto, and there's a million freaking episodes uh, in the Shonen Jump. <laughs> so it was really hard to to kind of, like, branch out into other animes right. um, at the time. So I just recently started watching Attack on Titan. But I know that they, they did get delayed for a long time. Right, right. Um, so some interesting details from Spider-Man Far From Home. One, there's an official picture of the new Spider-Man stealth suit, uh, for the film, which looks to take a page from, it looks, anybody who's seen the Spider-Man noir, uh, either in the comics or in the new Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse knows that it's like an all black costume. Um, this looks to be kind of like a modern version of that. Like maybe it's got like a fingerless glove and... It, like hockey pads. It's super mall ninja y. Yeah, mall ninja y would be a great, great way like, to describe it. Like put a pot belly on it and <laughs> it, and a neck beard sticking out. You'd like we'd be totally in in character. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, it doesn't look good, but uh, I'm sure it'll be great in action. Yeah, for sure. They've been doing really good with them so far. So let's hope they don't fucking biff it on two. Agreed. Um, so the um, the other thing that we heard about uh, Spider-Man Far From Home is that there was an official uh, trailer for it released. However, not in uh, anywhere else other than Brazil Comic Con. It was shown exclusively to the Brazil Comic Con patrons there. And um, allegedly... Um, so, why do you, you keep, like, hitting the menu? Yeah, like, I'm thinking... Oh, because the top? And yeah. you're thinking that's, like, jump? Yeah. Okay. I was just wondering, because the menu kept opening up, and I'm like, what the F and hell is this <laughs> shit? Um, so, the official description from Eyewitnesses, because we haven't seen the trailer, is that, uh, I guess, the trailer opens up with Nick Fury investigating uh, a bunch of creatures called elementals that are wreaking havoc across planet Earth. And he enlists uh, Quentin Beck, who is uh, Mysterio in the comics. Uh, I guess he's one of the few people who knows anything about these elementals and how to stop them. And uh, it just so happens that they coincide with uh, Peter Parker's field trip to the UK and they team up to take the elementals down. Now, on the surface, that sounds like an extremely different uh, version of Mysterio than we've ever seen before. Mysterio as a good guy, and also against some creatures that we've never seen before or heard about or whatever. Yeah. Um, but as anybody who's read the comics or seen the TV show since Mysterio knows, Mysterio has a propensity to... Uh, pull the wool over everybody's eyes for his own advantage. I so mean, yeah. I, mean, I he... wouldn't be surprised if these weird elemental things are something he created. Either that or there's some kind of fallout from the as-of-yet unknown way uh, Avengers 4 is going to play out. Yeah, uh, I have a feeling that this is a... going to be a mastermind, you know, like a... Wizard of Oz type thing, you know, pull the curtain sure. back and it's Mysterio. Yeah. Uh, pulling the strings, like, you know, like you said, so many other times. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I just have to laugh at the fact that you just walked off and you drowned your character right now. I did. That was pretty fantastic, actually. Yeah, that was a good time. Um, that, was, that was good. I keep getting messed up. <laughs> That's all good. We both have brooms. We do have brooms. Fire brooms. <laughs> Oh shit! It's fucking yeah, no, raptor. Yeah, these things are. Ugh. Oh, you can freeze them and do damage. Yeah, beat him in the face. You broke his face. Whoa! Uh, fuck me! Uh, you did get fucked. 
I got totes fucked. Um, it's gonna be nice seeing Mysterio kind of, yeah, get a big scream. He's I always big thought screen he, debut. Yeah, yeah, he's absolutely. I always thought he was a really good villain. Um, highly underrated. Yeah. Um, but you know, they're whether they play him right or not is gonna be a huge determining factor. In my well, opinion. I mean, Jake Gyllenhaal. I'm sure he'll do a fine performance. Oh yeah. But I'm not. I'm not talking about the the actual actor. I'm talking about the 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 script. Oh yeah, I'm really. Oh hey, we can do like a little Ghostbusters. We cross can cross the, the stream. We can cross the streams. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So let me just get over to this. Okay. So the other big thing. My favorite. I am so fucking pissed about all of this. So there are two official movie posters. And I say <laughs> official movie posters because people are taking pictures of them in fucking movie theaters of the live action CGI hybrid Sonic the Hedgehog movie. <sighs> it's going to be so great. I hate everything about everything in both of these posters. Uh, one. He looks more like a fucking were bear than a hedgehog. He doesn't look like Sonic the Hedgehog. He's got muscular fucking legs. He doesn't wear socks. I don't know why. He's wearing fucking shitty ass Converse. Like, he looks like he's got like green, minuscule eyes, more like a real hedgehog that are bulging out of his fucking face. Yeah. And then his the the way they tried to do the hair on his outline of his um of his spikes looks terrible. I actually think that's the one thing that looks okay. I don't. Because when you when you look up close, it's more like quills, but it's also kind of like hair. Eh. And for something so here's the thing. So Sega has officially said that they had limited uh, involvement in the production of the movie, and they did not okay the design for Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, I think I think Sega has just fucking put uh, Sonic out to pasture at this point. They've tried so many times to reboot the the series and the, and the character. They just they can't seem to get it off the ground, and they're just like, you know what? Have at it. Like, maybe you can do something that we can't. Yeah, I just think it's absolutely terrible. So his legs are blue, um, which which is normal, but his arms are also blue as well. So they're not uh, skin color like they've been in any fucking other version of it. And I just want to point out to everybody that uh, they've ha- they've already tried a drastic redesign of Sonic the Hedgehog in the Sonic the Hedgehog uh, Boom video games, which were absolutely atrocious video games, and that character design was fucking garbage. Um, the Cartoon Network Sonic the Hedgehog wasn't bad, though. That's uh, the one I'm talking about. Really? That was I'd... Sonic Boom. Oh, I thought you said video games. Yeah, but it had a series with it, too. Oh, I was going to say, I didn't think it was bad. I didn't think it was great by any means, but... I mean, it looked like he had sex with Crash Bandicoot. That's what it. That's what it looked like. Uh, it was kind of funny seeing uh, uh, Knuckles. No, Knuckles was hella swole in that. Yeah, he was super swole. Which I kind of agree with because Knuckles is just a brawler. Agreed. Who can fly? Um, no, don't die. <laughs> Trying not to die. The Firebirds. Yes. Um. I, I don't know. I thought it was better than <laughs> what uh, what Sega had been doing before, in my opinion. Okay. I agree to disagree. Um, so the other poster... I mean, have you gone back and rewatched the old ser- the old cartoon? Sonic? Yeah. Of course. Uh, I own it on DVD, bitch. Okay. It's it's really... It's great. It is Fuck not your mother. aged well. It it's great. <laughs> It has a great nostalgia feel. No, okay, okay. So which one are you talking about? Are you talking about the one that was on Disney? Or are you talking about the the one that was on ABC back in the day in the 90s? Uh, I'm talking about the one that was on back in the day in the 90s. They're on at the same time? The ABC one, I think. The darker one? Yeah. Where people were getting fucking abducted and roboticized and whatnot? No, the Disney one. Okay, the, the Disney one was not great. 
Yeah. It was it was for kids. I definitely watched it. It was fine for my age at the time. However, the darker Sonic the Hedgehog, which unfortunately only ran for I want to say it was like thirty episodes. Yeah, a full season was the best because that was the one that the comic book t- took from, and then continued after the series died. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I can understand the confusion because it was on at the same. They were literally in production at the same time, voiced by the same fucking people. Uh, they Steve just Steve Urkel. Yeah, good old Steve Urkel, original voice of Sonic the Hedgehog. So. I don't know. I I have no hopes for this movie to be good. I don't have any expectation from it at all. I and I'm hoping to be pleasantly surprised from it. Although we've seen how how bad movies like this can turn. Yeah, I think the thing though is so the producers have said that they're going with a realistic look for Sonic the Hedgehog and they've said that even though they haven't fully revealed the character yet, they've only shown his legs and his silhouette uh, in movie posters. Nor have we seen him in motion, so we don't know. Maybe it'll look better in motion. I don't know. It might be one of those things. I don't know. Either way, I'm not... Ow. Let's beat each other with broom, shall we? Um, <laughs> I'm not optimistic. What they've said, though, is... Uh, they <laughs> you just fucking, fucking kidding me? <laughs> fell off a cliff. Or a waterfall. <laughs> That was fantastic. Uh, what they've said is, um, if you want something to compare it to, they said compare it to Detective Pikachu in terms of the realism approach. Except for that looks awesome. Yeah, that's the difference. It looks great. And they didn't release any kind of like teaser art or anything until they had a full functioning yeah, they live did, trailer. They didn't show a poster. That's not true. They had a poster, but it was they, just a logo. Yeah. They didn't have anything like what... Um, the Sonic movie is doing now. Yeah. Which I find very stupid. They should have... Agreed. There is one silver lining, though, however. So I did some digging, and I found out who the CGI studio is who is doing the CGI work. You're, yeah. you're in the poison. Move out Shit. of the poison. <laughs> Cross the street. Uh, so it's not ILM, unfortunately. However, the studio who is doing it has huge video game pedigree. Do you remember the studio that made like every single awesome video game trailer ever blur? Yeah. So they're the ones doing the work for the movie. Okay, that has a lot of so potential. So that has potential for them to not fuck it up since they have a gaming background. But how much how much polish can you put on a piece of shit with that? I agree. Like, I agree. Like they're And I'm not saying that Sonic or that franchise is a piece of shit. I'm just saying that with what they have to work with, like you know, how much work can they pretend, uh, How much work can they realistically do? Yeah, with that, like, and you know, that's. I mean, and there's one other thing to consider too. This also might be a thing of like maybe the producers knew that it would be a really risky look, so they show us this in silhouette. We've not seen any footage. We we don't know how he really looks. We just have a silhouette, and we know what his legs look like, and it's terrible. But it might be a situation where it's like, let's test the waters with this. The movie is still, it's scheduled for a 2019 Christmas release. What if it's a test the waters type situation and then they completely retcon it? Uh, they could. Because I'm kind of thinking of a, of a scenario like um, X-Men Apocalypse. When they first showed Apocalypse, he wasn't the right color. He looked like garbage, and they CGI'd the shit out of him in the final movie. Yeah, in the post production. Yeah, because they're like, yeah, he's not right. <laughs> I do remember the backlash from that when people were like, uh, uh that when you're a that. cosplayer who does, like, I remember seeing a meme, and it was like, when you're a cosplayer who made your costume in the in your mom's <laughs> garage, and you still have more product uh, product value than uh, a million dollar exactly. budget or something like that. Yeah, the the meme that I remember seeing for X-Men Apocalypse was um uh that they'd stole stolen the Ivan Ood oh, design yeah, yeah. from the original Power Rangers motion picture. Which, you know, uh, what's that? Oh, it's mine. Yes. Oh, you got a thingy. Oh, what is it? Rodolfo's uh dildo? Uh, yeah, you got a fucking staff. Nice. Oh, we both did. Oh, it looks like it's shared. No, oh, Rodolfo's moon staff. That's fine. I'll keep my broom. I don't want a broom. I want a well, staff. Then take the goddamn staff. That's what I'm trying to do. Do it. Stop it. 
Okay, why didn't it select it? I don't know. Maybe because you're terrible at selecting things? Probably. <laughs> maybe it's the thing, maybe you have to unselect it. Oh, uh, that makes I sense. I don't know. I just have, I, I don't know. No, I, it's all right. Whatever. I don't know how to get the okay, menu. I got the it. menu. Anyway, Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, the movie poster that's in the wild actually has a release date of November 8th, 2019. And also it shows uh, Sonic's legs and he's kicked up on top of the, uh, what is that, that's Golden Gate, right? Yeah. It honestly he's on looks, top of the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. So It, it looks like, uh, it looks like some dude who like, it's a cropped photo of a dude who took a dick pic and was yeah. on the Golden Gate and he's like, hey baby. This is how rich I am, but there's just no dick here. Yeah. It's just a cropped out, no dick pic. And then the other thing that we can point out of the movie poster is it's got Sonic was here, spelled W-U-Z, which is terrible. And then the other thing... Like, which, Sonic wasn't illiterate. Yeah, I know. But Tails that, was. No, Tails is super smart. He built all the robots and the planes and shit. I didn't think he could, like, spell or read. No, he just Tails was, was a legit genius. Tails was smarter than That doesn't Sonic. mean he can read or write. Oh, my God. So the other thing that we can see in the poster, other than his fucking Converse, is that he's got a little... They look like, like Adidas to me, to be honest. Look like Adidas? Yeah. Uh, they look shitty either way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's leave it like that. They don't have their iconic white stripe. It's just a red shoe with white laces. Uh, looks like there's a little power ring as like some sort of memento thing on his shoe, which looks tacky and dumb. And then the other thing which I really don't like is they've got like light lightning around his shoes. Yeah. So here's the thing. He's not powered by the fucking speed force. He's a goddamn fast uh, fucking critter from the planet Morbius. Okay? Like, he's not fucking the Flash. Stop putting lightning on him. Yeah. The reason he's a blue blur is because he's moving so fast that you're seeing ghost echoes of the fucking thing because he's moving so fast. Not because of fucking lightning. Well, maybe in this world, he's... He's a mutant. He's a terrible a fucking struck mutant. Struck by lightning. Yes, that's exactly what it is. I swear to God, if it opens up with a fucking tank and there's like a little hedgehog in it and it gets hit by a lightning bolt. And it's Dr. Robotnik who does Doc it. No. Doctor. Ro Doc no Robotnik? Dr. Robotnik. That's terrible. Who's played by Jim Carrey. Good God. I can't even imagine how that's going to be. Yeah. It just doesn't sound great. Goddamn James Marston's in it. I don't hate James Marston. I just think... Just the pairing of everybody sounds atrocious. Yeah, it does. Sounds legit atrocious. Okay, so what else do we got? Oh, Watch so out. oh shit. So something super surprising. Uh, there's a season two of Future Man coming soon. Actually, I'm actually really excited. It was a really really funny show. I haven't yet to finish the season one. Uh, I got about half, maybe three quarters of the way through it. Yeah. I accidentally killed you there in the poison, and I'm about to die. This is not good. Run away! Uh, nope, I'm dead. What's you? Yeah. Last chance. It says, "Don't die again, or we're fucked." Dude, those totally look like furries. They do look like furries. They're little fire furries, is what they are. And ice furries. Ooh. Oh shit! Why did? I think it moves you closer because of the screen. Uh, no. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes. Oh. Okay. Nice. Okay. Now I just have to. Okay. Hang on, folks. Uh, Intense moment. Talk about the 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 thing with the stuff. Uh. Okay. What? Are, uh, what are uh, uh. Uh. Future Man season two. Oh, Future Man. Yeah. Uh. It's fire, dude. He's immune to fire. Just fucking bomb the shit out of him. So I really like the show. I thought it was hilarious. There was a lot of, you know, tongue in cheek uh about other uh, you know, time travel shows and movies, which I thought was great. Yeah, I like that those jokes too. Um <clears throat> and then uh you know the the people playing uh, the actors were were great. Uh what's his name? <sighs> <laughs> just there's so many just hilarious things in that show. I really liked the cooking episode. Yes. <laughs> the uh, fucking cream puffs. Yes. Uh, <laughs> That's so good. It was, yeah, it, it was just an all around really, really well done, funny show. And fuck that guy. Yeah, that guy was fucking not great. <laughs> Sorry, the guy in the game. Yeah. Not the actors. We like the actors. Uh, 
yeah, it was just a really, really good show. It was very funny. Uh, had some really good serious moments, and then, you know, that were well broken up with just absolute absurdity. I think I think the shocker is, like, it's been, what, two years? Uh, Since oh, the first fucking season? Almost, yeah. I didn't even know, like, because I, I remember looking up earlier in the year when I was starting to watch season one, you know, if it was got a season two, and it totally, nobody said anything. Yeah. So I was like, I was very shocked when uh, this was a thing. Oh, I got complaints. Well, if you, if you really think about the... If you think about the actors, mm-hmm. the, you know, the people playing the roles, they're, they're kind of big name actors, so you would have to imagine that they're probably working around schedules for them more than anything. Yeah. So that's my thinking behind it. You get any hats or anything? Oh, I don't have any hats. No, no. Hats. I have no hats. No hats. Okay. No hats indeed. Master spell regeneration. Oh. Yeah, that's what I chose. Oh, I chose power. On my skill. Power. Sorry. Fucking Stop water. Stop hitting that button. It's not Y. It's X. No oh, X. Whatever. Relocated to where Y is, <laughs> or the triangle, because Nintendo's got to be different. Um. Let's see, uh, entertainment going on right now. Uh, Venom movies officially released on home video, so you can go get that direct of a movie if you want to. Um, Haven't seen it yet still. Mortal Engines just came out uh, a day ago. Haven't seen it yet. I've heard it's a really good movie, but the actual main plot is kind of weak sauce and cookie cutter. It looks like it is. It looks like it totally looks like it's just one of those movies that's all about the visuals and the action and not really any kind of substance behind it. Fuck you, asshole. With me? Yeah, you keep randomly brooming me. Oh. I don't mean to clean up the trash. <laughs> <laughs> um, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse uh, came out Friday. I haven't seen it yet. I'm seeing it tomorrow afternoon. Um, it has an astounding 96% fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. And uh, I had a text uh, from one of my buddies, Jay, who's, um, love you, Jay, but you're a snobby-ass videographer who went to film school and thinks he knows best about what films are great and what are not. And he literally texted me. He's like, you know, I despise superheroes and everything they stand for and their garbage influence on the movie industry. Like, however, took my kids to see Into the Spider-Verse, and that was a fucking dope-ass film. (laughs) I mean, it looks really good. Yeah, I'm. Um, I'm really. I've got high hopes for it. Like, I already had high hopes because I mean, it's Spider Man. Huge Spider Man fan. Uh, I guess that's just a rock we were hitting with our broom. I don't know. That no, does like a box. It does look like a box. It's a trick box. I like that poison bomb. Yeah, it's good. Um. So yeah, Into the Spider Verse is getting crazy reviews. Uh, I haven't seen anybody say. I literally seen. I have not seen any review say anything bad about it. So, I have high hopes. I have high hopes for that film. Uh, Aquaman, uh, less great reviews. However, it is it's a... it's got a sixty three percent fresh on Rotten Tomatoes, and almost everybody says, uh, you know, it is a big, dumb, fun, awesome spectacle movie, and says that it channels the best of Tim Burton with the best of Zack Snyder, and it's a fun movie. And in fact, some people have been like, uh, yo, what's it feel like to fix the DC universe? <laughs> and you're the fucking Aquaman film. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if I would say that it fixed it, is going to fix it, but. I mean, I'll know in a couple of hours. It's not. I, no. I mean, I'm. And it's not because I don't like it. Aquaman. I actually really do like Aquaman. Yeah, Aquaman, criminally underrated. Yep. Um, Anybody who says otherwise, go see the DC movie uh, Throne of Atlantis. Shit's dank as fuck. But I, uh, Aquaman was definitely probably third or fourth tier oh, yeah. superhero in the oh, comics yeah. until probably the 90s. Yep. And, uh, but having Jason, someone like Jason Momoa, mm-hmm. uh, taking on the role is really going to help both the image of the badassery. Agreed. But again, it's another DC movie where I've I've lost all faith in DC movies, especially after 
Batman vs Superman. Yeah, I guess you really did not like Batflick. Oh, dude. We were talking about this the other day. Yeah. I think he was great. I don't think the scripts he had were particularly great, but I thought his acting was just fine. Okay, his acting was fine, but Batman not knowing who Yeah, was which is a problem with the script. Not, like, not Ben Affleck's acting. Ben Affleck should have said something then. I mean... Do you think any of the actors really have a say in their fucking roles when they're big, huge comic book movies? Well, maybe they should. I mean, I know Christian Bale put his two cents in with Batman on quite a few occasions. Whether they were list- listened to or not is a different story. Yeah, but again, that was really before the Marvel Cinematic Universe and all that shit changed. And everything needed to be all completely run by corporate and all unified and all that jazz. Oh, move to the left, you bastard. Yeah. I'm trying to save you. No. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, we are getting ass raped by fucking termites and like an ice fucking ram thing. Think great. Think great. Yeah, I'm sure it's getting fucked. Ooh. Throw your goddamn bomb, you piece of shit. You don't have no magic. Come on. Come on. Charge. There it is. Ooh. Come on, charge. You're not doing good against this thing. No, dude. He's a fuck hard. Oh, I got him. I got him. Nice. Ooh. All right. Uh, let's see. Have anything else to talk about entertainment wise? Uh, I don't know. I have more to talk about next week, I suppose. You seen any movies lately that of the newer variety Mm, you can weigh in on? Not really. No. No. I I don't really go to the movie theaters. I don't like. I don't, one, I don't like paying 20 bucks for something that may or may not be good. I mean, that's and, always the gamble, though, right? Yeah, and on top of that, having the free time to do said thing is really hard to find, especially when I'm gambling on it. Uh, and plus, if I do go to the movies, I, have, I usually have to take my son. Right. Well, it sounds like the end of the Spider-Verse might be... Might be the one for that then because it's animated. Yeah, it is rated PG, but apparently it's just as thrilling for the adults. So there you go. Yeah. All right, spin in the ring. Next topic. Fire. All right, life fire. Uh, God, I don't. I don't really have any like life stories this week other than. Just, just life. It's it's hard. It's it's Christmas time. Mm-hmm. Broke. Fucking shopping gifts for. Okay, I guess this is this is the thing. So last night, um, because I guess Jessica's family is getting me Christmas presents, so now I have to get them Christmas presents. Do what I do. You send everybody a card that says you get my love for another year. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's gonna fly in this family, bud. So uh, I did get everybody a gift. I kind of kept it to, you know, twenty to twenty five dollars each. I saw one that was hilarious and it was it was a uh, a battery and it said gift not included. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, pretty... I'm going to have to get that. Why can't I select anything? Oh, because we don't have enough. Oh, there we go. OK, I got it. Um, yeah, so I did. I did some shopping last night. Um, I actually did end up getting my folks some gifts, which is a bit different for me because usually I just go out like. A day before Christmas, like Walmart, and see what they got. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because me and my family haven't done gifts with each other for like a long ass time. So yeah, I mean, I... and my mom's always been cool with like just take me to the movies. Yeah, because that's the thing me and my mom like to do. Yeah, I- I'm covered for both of my parents till they die. Till they die? Yeah. Why? Uh, well, for one, because I, m- my dad's a big history buff and. Uh, he's always wanted a Tommy gun. Oh, nice. So I bought him a Tommy gun. That's legit. Um, and so I was like, I gave it to him for Father's Day. And I was like, this is the gifts uh, for the rest of your life. <laughs> so I make him pull it out. It's probably not cheap. Yeah, I make him pull it out for Father's Day. I make him pull it out for Christmas. And then I, I re-give it to him, essentially. Holy fuck. Uh, getting that attacked by a boss treasure mantis. Cross now. the streams. I'm crossing the streams. Cross dude. the streams. Aim at the fucking bitch. There we go. Oh shit. We he's have throwing move. poison. Poison and slow, and it eats your fucking mana. Oh, he's got a fire laser. Got a fire laser. Uh, is he immune? 
I don't know. It looks like uh, a mantis shrimp. It's something. That's for fuck that poison. Shit. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck balls. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, uh, you ran off the fucking cliff? You would. <laughs> you fucking you would. You almost teleported off the cliff. I'm fucking resing you right now. Get the fuck up. Aha. Save me. I'm almost dead. Goddamn poison. Well, it's not even just poison. It slows you down, too. I know. Oh, shit. Damn. I just got fucking smoted. That was like by a that laser fucking beam of death. Laser blast leaves a fire trail. Oh, e shit. E Ooh, nice revive. Nice revive. Ooh. Oh, getting fucking pushed back. This ain't good. Watch out, fire beam of death. Fuck you. Yeah, Jeez. poison his ass. I'm trying. We are not doing enough damage on this guy, man. Like, oh, God. Uh, nice, nice. Yep, just trying, man. Just trying. Oh yeah, get, get fucked. That, get that fucking poison right in your get face, you fucked. piece of oh, shit, shit, you fucking treasure manches. Whoa! Woo! You should yeah. not have walked in front of that. No, no, I shouldn't have. Oh, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha, you. I think. As long as you don't fucking poison me. No, I gotta go. No, <laughs> fuck this bitch. Yeah, good job. Nice, nice. Nicely done. He's at half health. Come on. Sorry, folks. This intermission brought to you by Nine Apartments. Available yeah. on Nintendo Switch. And uh, I think it's actually on all platforms. Actually, really. No! Why would you run off the fucking cliff again? Because of the goddamn laser beam. Well, don't run off the cliff. I run away I, from the laser I beam. How about that? Fuck. Yes. Damn it, you almost fucking <laughs> literally iced me that time. Ooh. Yeah, uh. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, fuck Ooh. nuggets. Ooh. I have like no health. Oh, I warped into the fucking poison! <laughs> yeah, why would you warp into the poison, eh? Hey, you totally why don't you res me and don't you fucking walk off that cliff, you piece of shit? <laughs> You were about to get fucking smoted! Alright, I'm up. He's so close! He's got a sliver of fucking nugget health. Poison bomb of death. Stream cross! Ow! Oh, sorry. Shot me in my ass! <laughs> yeah! We got him. Unless he's got no, like some fucking no. second form. This isn't even his final form. <laughs> oh no, he's doing a thing still. He doesn't have any health. He's fucking. There oh, nice, is. nice. Woo! All right, we killed that bitch. Ah, uh, look at that bitch trying to grab his crown. He totally did. Reminds me of the the crab from uh, Moana. Yeah, it does. <laughs> this game came out uh, before Moana, though. Actually. Did it really? Yeah. You said two years, right? Yeah, well, it came out two years ago. I want to say it came out. Oh, Manchester. Nice. Oh, we got a crown tiara thing. Sweet. A cornet. Sure. Coronet. Uh, yeah. I mean, that'd be the only thing I I got I got for life. Oh, unlocked a different character. Looks like. Yep. That's cool. Very nice. Ooh. Choose spell apartment. Death bolt. Poison flower. Ooh, small circle of life. Uh, we need to be smart about our spells. Do you want to do life? Uh, yeah. Oh wait, no, you got a small one. I got different spells. Yeah, but I have a ton more spell powers. You just have spell regeneration. Yeah, but look, yours is like. Okay. Yeah. Mine's way better. So I'll do life. Throw then a flaming rock that sets targets on fire. Uh, Nova Blast, nice bonus. All right, so I got the healing for that one. Yeah, maybe. So it'd be one. It'd be the fire or ice, I guess. For you, I like fire. Okay, there we go. Spell power. All right. Uh, do you have any other life things to talk about, really? Uh, not really, other than my kid being kind of an asshole at daycare. Well, you don't want to talk about it. 
Not really. All right. <laughs> I mean, we we talked about it at work. So that's true. We did. <laughs> All right. Spin in the ring. Yeah, part of the ring. Uh, that's the same fucking roll. Okay. All right. So technology. All right. So. Really, the only biggest thing this week is uh, the Virgin Galactic has made its second successful test flight with a payload that's equal to humans. And it has launched from the ground, entered space, and then returned successfully to the ground. So yeah. The, this is the thing that's taken 15 years. This is the one that's uh, the T-Mobile guy yes. has thrown just all of his money at. Yeah. Um, and, um, A, I think the ship looks really fucking cool. It does. Have you seen the video for this? Yeah, I have. It yeah, looks it's really, really cool. dope. Um, B, like, gosh, like, fucking hundreds of r- super famous rich actors have already bought a ticket for this, like, decades ago. Yes. And so, they're thinking now, maybe by this time next year, they will have conducted enough tests where the f- they'll finally be able to start their space tourism service. That's cool. So... That's uh yeah, it's pretty neat and it's uh and it's cool because it's done in the private sector. Um big fan of SpaceX and I mean I am a fan of the stuff of Virgin Galactic. It's just they haven't they haven't really been successful. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's so worth it. Nice. I just healed it. I just healed back to full health with that fucking heal spell. Yeah, and I wasn't taking any damage while I was beating him up. Yeah. That's fucking oh, don't hit those. Don't don't. It's death. It's ice death. It's ice death. Yeah, they're explosive barrels. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. So the way you said it was funny. Explosive. Uh, yeah, I don't really have... Not a lot going on in technology right now. Um, you know... Oh, the other big thing this week, te- technology-wise, is so Qualcomm, in their never-ending uh, legal fuck you battle with Apple over modems and royalties that they think Apple owes them, which is a bunch of bull. Um, They successfully got Apple products banned in China. So all current Apple products are, they've got a temporary ban on them right now from like the Ministry of Technology or some shit. And uh, so it's very interesting because Apple issued a statement to China apparently saying uh, A, that's it's kind of bullshit, and B, they're like, if you force our hand on this, we have 5 million jobs in China that make our products. Do you really want to damage the economy and your own citizens by forcing our products not to be in your country, so therefore we're not going to make them in your country? I would actually like that's totally, a big dick move. I would, actually, it is. Uh, but it, it, you know, China's government did that first. Hold up, what? there's oh. a little flower back here, or whatever. <laughs> um, there's a little collecting flower things in this game. I mean, China, China was trying to be a big swinging dick, and then they just got put in their place. Yeah, I by mean, the, one of the largest corporations in the world. So I think they are getting exactly what is coming to them if they keep pressing an issue, especially with such huge economic repercussions to their country and any other country that uh, Apple moves to. And I wouldn't be surprised like any other um, any other kind of uh, headhunting company that there are countries out there putting out feelers to Apple going. Hey, bring it to Thailand. Bring it to here. Oh, bring, yeah. You know, it, we saw that happen he, locally here when, um, what was it? When Seattle was trying to ban or trying to get uh, Amazon to do a bunch of really weird. Oh, yeah. They tax- wanted them to pay for like all kinds of crazy shit. Yeah. That didn't apply to them really. And yeah. uh, places like uh, Bellevue and other local cities were like, hey, come here. We got tons of industrial sanctioned land and we're not going to make you do this and then seattle was like oh uh jk (laughs) and it's like you're trying to bully a billion a multi-billion dollar company what 
what logic like plays into that like you fucking dumbass you put a healing circle inside of a curse circle. i didn't mean to do it okay like, it just happened i was like, trying to get out of the way of the fucking fire chicken well now i'm frozen <laughs> like <laughs> chicken rice yeah stop being in the way of my shots uh, it's not me <laughs> it's not me it's you uh, yeah sure it is Fire chicken, die! Did you beat his ass with a broom? <laughs> no, with my, uh... Oh, you got your... My staff. Yeah, ooh, I got a thing. Yep, flower, feather. Nice. Yeah, so, I don't know. I... <sighs> That's just a really, really dumb play. Because now, in my opinion, Apple has China pretty much under the gun. Yeah, and I know it's a huge market for them, and obviously Apple wants that market, but at the same time, it's like... I mean, they'll just go someplace else. Yeah, there's plenty of other child labor countries, uh, slave labor countries like Thailand, for that matter. Like, you, China doesn't have the monopoly on that shit. Well, and here's the thing. And sometimes Apple will even move even when uh, things have been good with a company. So, for example, uh, Apple had a 15% stake in a company called PowerVR. PowerVR manufactured all of the GPUs in the Apple devices up until the iPhone 10. And they just were just like, nope, we made our own. See ya. <laughs> I mean, yeah. And then they were like, what? And now that company is basically almost bankrupt. So it's crazy. That's probably an exaggeration. Don't quote me on that. I just don't remember the actual facts. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Trump. <laughs> uh, ah, why are there so many electric things? I'm getting frozen, and oh, I just got slayed by those electricities. Oh, fuck. oh you can jump over those things? Yeah. Oh. Like that's why. That's why I'm jumping and teleporting everywhere. Shit. Come get on. get me up. I'll heal. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Ah! Shit! Come on! Heal! Heal! Uh, <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh, uh, we got aced. Oh, we got nice. aced on that fucking. That's level. actually that's a fun game. I like that. Yeah. All right, spinning the ring again. Actually, we don't need to spin the ring. The topic's video games. Last topic. Topic is video games. Are we done with this game? No, no, no. I'm just stretching my new. Oh, I was wondering what you were doing because yeah. you stood up and then you started wiggling your foot in my face. And I was like, I, I don't know what's happening, Brock. Smell I've known you a long time. Smell it. <laughs> you know I can't smell. <laughs> oh. Oh man, I gotta stretch it. Yeah, That's man, awesome. it's true. It's true. I gotta do this fucking back stretch in the mornings. It's so dumb. <laughs> so, a lot of video shit's games? been happening in video games. Yes, yes. Uh, let's see. Fallout seventy six continues to suck. Um, Fallout seventy six gets fucking hella shade thrown on it by Far Cry. Yep. And uh, what was the other game? Not Anthem. Uh, Outer World. Outer Worlds. Yes. Yeah. Also, there's some more news on Outer Worlds. So they said, um, the developers said, uh, don't get too crazy about how big you think the game might be. Like, they're like they're just focusing on... Making a playable game? Yeah, they're mo they said they're focusing <laughs> on a smaller game. They said don't expect something on the size of Fallout New Vegas, which they've previously done. Yeah. Um, so that's a thing. Who would have thunk making a playable game? Over <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, so something that was really close to my heart, and actually some of our Fork family members, actually in our in our Discord, which you can find at uh, Get Fork Pod on Twitter. Click the link there and join the Fork fam there. Hashtag uh, shameless plug. Yeah, basically. I mean, that's what this show is. It's an entirely it's an entirely shameless plug. Um, so. Epic Games, uh, in coordination with Chair Entertainment, which they bought years ago, um, the Infinity Blade trilogy of video games, which are... Is that the one on the iPhone? Yeah. Oh, I loved that. The first one. I never played anything else. Oh. Fuck you, asshole. Stop laser beaming me. Uh, I don't like these tracking. Uh... Oh, no. Yeah, this is... This is... Ooh, okay. Come over. He ah! Healy Circle. Oh, fuck you. 
community. Oh, this fucking purple guy we got to get because he's launching shit. Yeah, he's launching tons of shit, but we're also getting fucked by these. Yeah, the lightning dudes are not great. Fucking get out of my goddamn. No, I'm dead. Get out of my personal space. (laughs) No, bad touch. Bad touch. Come on, where's my fucking spell? (laughs) I got smoted again. Yeah, we got, we got toast. We're going to need better strats on this one. Uh, so anyway, Epic Games, uh, owner of the Infinity Blade franchise, uh, all three games have been pulled from the App Store. This is very surprising because this is one of the oldest, long-running... I remember playing it on my AAA, iPhone. Triple A. Like, I still have the games installed. So if you have them installed on your phone, don't uninstall them, folks. You cannot re-download. It is not available for re-download. Um, so the official statement from uh, both Chair and Epic Games was, um, you know, it's been quite a few many years since uh, Infinity Blade 3 came out, and they've kept up with the updates all the way to iPhone X uh, of last year, but they haven't done any updates this year, and they've decided that the cost of upkeep to keep updating it for each new o- o- iOS uh, has been uh, too much, and the team wants to move on to other things. Uh oh yes, stand behind here for safety. Shit. No, oh, you're no, not. not. Toad's not. Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. Yes. You hurry up and revive. We are about to get fucked. Fuck this guy. Dude, that electricity. Dude, I fuck. cannot get through the fucking electricity bitch. Not good. Ooh, so that's the... Okay, so the so, tactic to get rid of that uh, electricity is wait for it to almost hit you and then jump up and teleport. Mm. Jesus, there's just a clusterfuck of little, like, bees. Oh, I'm up, I'm up. Uh, I'm gonna have to just, like, start dropping poison on these fools. I'm trying to, to get my heal up. Uh, oh, shit, are you dead? Yep. Just wait. Uh, there's too many too many attacks too many mooks Uh, no fucking oh my god you're gonna have to kite him away from my corpse dude Uh, watch out for that I'm trying man damn that poison guy is a real pain in the ass Uh, dude just heal yourself no! <laughs> I dropped it two feet from my feet. Okay, get in there. Yeah! Heal me! Oops, no! <laughs> Toad's fucked. Yeah! I'm dead. Run away! Run! <laughs> Run away! Uh, anyways, they pulled the games. Uh, it's very sad because the Infinity Blade series, uh, both A, was one of the most highly rated and downloaded games on iOS. It's one of my personal favorite franchises. It's a really, really cool. Uh, they had books written by Brandon Sanderson. Really? Yeah, they're really good, actually. Um, I've got them digital if you if you want them, man. Uh, yeah, I'll have to check them out. Um, and the story, uh, two and three were fantastic, amazing story, uh, beautiful combat, such a beautiful, well designed, specifically for Shit. touch devices game. Um, and it's sad you can't. You can't buy it or download it anymore. Uh, they said, don't worry, this isn't the end of the Infinity Blade franchise. Um, they didn't explain what that meant. However, there is Infinity Blade armor sets in Fortnite uh, right now. And I guess the Infinity Blade was a weapon in the yes. latest season. And it actually just got pulled because it was OP as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what's actually really funny is that you see this this giant... Well, not giant, giant. You see a a fairly large uh, mobile app, uh, app game pulling a game, uh, pulling its mobile game, and then you have all these giant AAA game industry titans mm-hmm. trying to release mobile games like Blizzard, mm-hmm. and they're just getting absolutely shat all over for it. <laughs> I ran into an explosive barrel. I died. Nice. Thank you. It was not great. Really appreciate it was that. Not great. We're fucked. Are we? Uh, I'm gonna say yes. What's our problem oh. here? Is it the electric guy or is it the poison bitches? I think it is electric. And oh, heal, help! No, get no. me! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Pew. 
Nice. Was so that uh, was pure. I, luck. The electric dude's down. Is he? Yeah, I killed him. Oh, harsh. I yeah. So oh. I that I think is kind of funny. You see, um, you see a, a place like uh, Epic taking off Infinity Blades. Run. Yeah, but I mean, at the same time, it does make sense. Infinity Blade Three came out probably four or five years ago, so it's been a while. Oh yeah. But it's sad. It brings up another interesting conversation about the issue of fuck. I just. Got yes, it. the big wolf is dead. Nice, I am dead. Please fucking save me. Ooh, don't get spotted. Come on. I'm up. Okay. Yes, and there's another staff for us to use too that I picked up from Wolf Guy. Nice. Uh, it brings up a bigger issue of games that are amazing like that, like I'm mo down. I'm like down. mobile I'm games. Down. Uh, like how do we preserve them so that we can keep playing them? Because the inherent problem with making stuff for Android or iOS is, you know, there's a new operating health, system every health year. Right health right there. And, uh, you know, we can't... Developers have to spend time to update the fucking game to run with the new shit, essentially. Because the technology is moving faster than the actual developers can make the fucking game. I mean, short of having a... Like a dedicated server where you can just go and like access them but that's the thing they're made for specific devices that, yeah. that's the thing i'm talking about you know it's like if they made games exclusively for like uh, a nintendo game boy one and two and three and four and the the twos no lang longer run on the game boy four you know no, what i mean yeah like it, that's the kind of situation we're in in terms of the great mobile games that are really good and worth playing in my opinion you know, like it's fine that like. Oh, nice. I think uh, I honestly think it's gonna come to a point where there are just gonna be a bunch of dedicated people that, you know, keep these games alive. Much like old uh, MMOs, and they make their own private servers. Yeah, but they'll have it. <clears throat> they'll they'll have like, I don't know if you remember, but a number of years ago, Flappy Bird. Yeah, took down and people who had Flappy Birds installed on their phone would basically wipe their phone and then sell the phone with just Flappy Bird on it. Well, and they were getting like thousands of dollars. And I think it'll it's get the it... same thing as uh, remember Konami and PT. Oh yeah, yeah. I still have PT installed. Fuck. However, however, they issued a patch to it to make it non-workable. Oh, what like a bunch, a bunch of, assholes. of dick bags. Can you believe that? I do actually. I can totally believe that actually. Yeah. Which is terrible. Fucking like Konami. What? Like, how is that sound strategy to fuck your your consumer base? Well, I mean, it's not. I mean, case in point, Bethesda right now. Yeah, poor Bethesda. I do hope they can recover from this fucking seventy six nightmare. Uh, I do too. Uh, I hope that they. Jesus Christ! There's a second one. Oh. And I'm slow. And I'm slow. And I'm slow. Oh, Run. there's three of them. Run. Four of them. Oh, fuck nuggets. Um, use the ice blow uppies. Yeah, no shit. How is him there's running full bore into that everywhere. fucking thing? Not hurt him. Uh, How do you run backwards? What do you mean? You're running backwards. Like when I do it, it just flips me around. That's dual stick, man. You just aim with your stick. Do you think you had to aim with one stick the whole time? Yes. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you and the horse you rode in on, man. Oh, man, that's pretty priceless, actually. I'm going to be totally honest. That's priceless. <laughs> God damn it. It's super priceless. Oh, man. That's good. good. So back to Bethesda. I hope that... They take the giant uh, lashings that they've gotten over on for seventy six, and Elder Scrolls six, and what's their other game? Um, uh, Starfield. Which that's 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 the big question. So Starfield is supposedly the furthest along in development, and it's the next big Bethesda game besides Elder Scrolls Blades, which is coming out on mobile, which also got delayed. It was supposed to come out this month. Got delayed into 2019. 
Yeah. So so hopefully they take this as a good idea that maybe they should just not use the the engine from from Fallout 4 which people are astounded that they're going to be using that for a next generation game title. So hang on. <clears throat> so Halo 1 through 4, how many game engines do you think they used? Including uh Halo 1 through 4, ODST, and Reach. Mm, I, I honestly couldn't tell you one. They all use the same Halo 1 engine, and they just upgraded the shit out of it over the years. Okay, ha- has Bethesda upgraded the shit out of the Fallout 4 engine? I mean, I don't know. I never played Fallout 4. They haven't, because there are bugs from the Fallout 4 engine and game that exist in 76. That sucks. And uh, it was touched on by a bunch of streamers that were like, how the fuck do you t- can you sell a game like this? So, um, and, and in that video I was trying to show you that was taken down because yeah. of um, whatever reasons. Uh, we I looked into it and it was never confirmed or denied by Bethesda that they took down or had the video taken down because of copyright infringement. Yeah. So, yeah, there was, I don't know, it, it's just silly, in my opinion. Oh, shit, these guys got reflective Sh- shields. Oh, yes, they do. You're going to have to warp behind them and... We'll just drop fucking bombs on them. That yeah. works. Get, get fucked. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the... Whoa. Yeah, I'd do that. Totally fucking reflected. So Bethesda has not put really a lot of work into basic upkeep of the Fallout 4 engine. Nice. Which is very, very sad. So, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll see, right? Uh, Oh, help. All right. So let's see some other video game things. Anthem right. has been getting a lot of. Uh, uh, Anthem I... Anthem had a private beta last weekend, which, as you all recall, me and Burning Wing were uh, really ready to go, but neither of us made it in. I didn't make it into a deck layer, and he just planned to make it in, even though he signed up, which is super good. Oh, shit. He's got like a shockwave thing. Yeah. Careful. <laughs> Right? Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry for that, guys. So, how, what was the word on the beta? Like, how did... Uh, I mean, everybody who talked about it got, like, their fucking accounts and YouTube accounts and shit banned. Well, so... I heard about one guy that that did it, and he had his entire library... Yeah, uh, destroyed. Destroyed. But I thought he had completely violated their nda i didn't think that he did, he did. well you, so they're saying so you're saying they couldn't even say uh it's a playable game i mean it's obviously playable we can see it that it's playable but is it any good that's the question that's the real question on everybody's mind is anthem good and will it deliver a good story that's the question ah fucking shield bitch you're gonna have to just bomb his ass yeah Ooh, i'm gonna heal myself uh, you guys fucking can't that. Yeah, I don't like the shield guys. You guys are not good. Oh, dude, your fucking healing heals them. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, these uh, these purple dudes. Yeah, the. Oh yeah. That fireball is pretty good. Does that replace your no shooty it's fireball? An, it's an add-on. Fuck. Nice. I'm just gonna let that throw over there since I'm throwing it against a poison that's not gonna do anything. Watch out, it catches, you. Yeah, it catches you on fire, <laughs> I'm on too. Fire! I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, watch out, it catches you on I fire. I didn't know. Too. I didn't know it had fucking fire damage and whatnot. Um, so I've been playing uh, a lot of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. As everybody knows on the show, I'm a huge Smash Bros. fan. Uh, I love Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. It, it really is the culmination of everything they've ever done. It's in a beautiful package. Um, all the fighters seem pretty good. 
Um, I actually need to go re and check out ten of them because ten of them got a rebalance yesterday, uh, which is kind of surprising. Uh, a lot of there's some heavy ones, uh, people like Young Link and uh, really Toon what? Link. But that's the thing though. In typical Nintendo fashion, it's like uh, rebalance these fighters. What they rebalance? I'm not gonna tell you. So I, I, I have no idea. I could kind of see Young Link being rebalanced because he is obscenely fast. I mean, retardedly fast. But yeah, because being... you you played a little bit with me on uh, Friday when the game came out. Yeah, but that should be, to, in my opinion, that was perfect for Young Link because one, he doesn't have a lot of power in his his attacks, aside from his bomb arrows. Uh, he's got fire arrows. He oh, okay. has fire arrows in ultimate now. Yeah, so his uh, his other attacks aren't very strong. So I think him being very agile and fast made a lot of sense, and gave you know your players a fighting chance. Oh, they got these guys got a shield that you got to break. Yes, before you can fucking damage them. How come yours can go so much faster than mine? Oh, I can go in the past too. I just okay. Never yeah, mind. you just got to. I'm it. playing wrong. Yeah, right. <laughs> just like the the paladin deck. Ooh, well, there's another thing we could talk about. Oh so, yeah, Hearthstone. Yeah, so uh, as I mentioned on the show, um, oh, flower, flower. Now, yeah. now that uh, me and Brock are uh, both cohabitating and uh, work. Oh, I just totally fucking accidentally mm, killed yeah, you. I'm you so sorry about that. Murked me. I fucking, <laughs> I fucking shoved that fireball right up your ass, right up your ass. Sorry right about that. That's all right. Um, now that we're uh, cohabitating and working together, uh, one of the things that uh, I got Brock into recently is uh, Hearthstone. Um, he'd never played it before. And uh, I think it's safe to say that uh, between Pokemon Go, we play Pokemon Go a lot. Oh, that's another thing we can talk yeah. about is the PvP and Pokemon Go. Amazing. So or not amazing. It's, 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 it's Yeah, it's not amazing. It's functional. It's there. Which is more than can be said it's for It's there. <laughs> And it works. Yes, it. Uh, it's not. Well, all well. That let's let's stay let's stay on uh, one topic. Yeah, sorry, okay. So Hearthstone. Hearthstone. Uh, we we had an excellent uh, tavern brawl this week. Yeah, amazing. One of my favorite. Yeah. So far. They had uh, pre-built decks with all the classes, and you could. Um, it was using the brand new expansion that just came out a week ago. Something. Something Rasta Sand, Rumble, uh, Rasta Rumble, or Rasta something, something, something yeah. Rumble in the Jungle, or some shit. Yeah, it was really, really cool. Yeah, so it was a nice way to showcase the new cards and how they work together in existing decks and making new powerful combos. Like I was playing as a rogue, and they had this thing where uh, it was a pirate deck, and you had like lots of pirate cards that you're playing, and then it had this. A card that was like cannon barrage, and every pirate on your playing field did like three random damage out to everything. So if you had a, a field, which I think is a max of eight uh, minions, you know, pirates, pirates. Yeah, but minions are the cards you play. Oh, okay. If you had a max, but they had of, to be pirates though. Right, they had to be pirates. But if your field was maxed, which mm. I think is eight, isn't it eight? Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't I think I've ever like had a. Eight. I don't think I've ever had a full field except for like. Yeah. A few times. I want to say it's either 8 or 10. Anyway, if you had, like, all pirates in the field, you'd play this one card that costs 6 mana, and it would just fucking cannon barrage, like, a fucking broadside. Yeah. And just, like, fucking eviscerate your opponent. It was awesome. And was then awesome. there was the paladin deck, which was also yeah, really, fucking, really fucking cool. Fucking brutal. Yeah, super brutal. Yeah, so the paladin deck was based around um, healing yourself, and then it had this card... That basically, when it died, it would reshuffle into your deck, but it would keep all the enhancements. So the deck was built around. Hang on, what is there something over here? Probably. It looks like there's. And not only that, uh, there were there was another card, a legendary that had, um, the ability to, um, take on any of the enchantments that you had cast that ga- to to that point in the game. So. <clears throat> Yeah, there was a lot of buffing in, yeah. in that. But they were fun. Game. Yeah, they, they were, were fun. Really cool. It was interesting because even though the the new expansion's been out a week, you know, you still got to earn the cards or buy them with real money. And this is a nice way of showing you, you know, well, how Blizzard would make the fucking decks. And it was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. 
Uh, there's still a couple days left on that, so I encourage you all to check out the Tavern Brawl for the Hearthstone for the new expansion. Um, speaking of other mobile cell phone games, um, me and Brock play a epic ass ton of Pokemon Go yes. all day, every day. And uh, they just launched the PvP for it. Um, like Brock said, it's functional. Yeah. It's not... So it's different than the regular battles you would do in a raid, essentially. So in the raid, you could dodge at free will and stuff. This, you only get two shield blocks uh, per game. You only get three Pokemon in a field. Um, and there's three different rank classes of CP. Yes. It, they call them leagues. Yeah, they call them leagues. I think it was fucking Master League, <sighs> Ultra League, and... Apprentice League. There's three different leagues, each dictating the highest amount of CP your Pokemon can have when you're battling. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, I absolutely wrecked Tim yesterday. Yeah, he, he wrecked me a lot. And he was... Actually. Yeah, he had... Uh, Higher level Pokemon. Yeah, he's he's way higher he, level than me. He out outclassed me in the types that he chose. All of mine were weak to that shit. Yeah. It was Gyarados a, all the way. It, Gyarados is a monster. Gyarados can go suck. Gyarados dick. is my favorite fucking Pokemon. He can suck a dick. Um Ooh shit. Oh Whoa, fuck that guy. I'm out. He's got a big explosion of electricity. Bunch of suicide bugs. Right? It's not great. Not great at all. Um, so um, one may ask, well, why the fuck do I want a PvP battle with somebody? Is that a thing? Is that in there? Uh, I thought it was a thing. Oh, you got to stay on it. There you go. I gotcha. Um, why do you want a PvP battle? A, you can do it with anybody in the field. You got to be near them, and then you get a QR code, and then you scan it on each other's phones. Or if you're friends. You can battle up to a certain level, up up to a certain level, and up to a certain distance based on your friendship level. Ah! About to die. I heal Fuck. Myself. Fuck. I'm dead. Nice burning fire on him. I think you saved us there with your amazing sacrifice. <laughs> yes. <Explosion>. Yes, I did. <laughs> um, so the real reason you want to battle with people is you get a shit ton of Stardust, and it raises your friend level. Raises Which your friend level makes trading a lot easier and cost effective. Yeah, and then um, you can battle up to three times a day before. Oh, you... you also get stones. Oh yeah, and you can earn stones. Like uh, Brock earned a Sinnoh stone the other day, and um, essentially, uh, yeah, you can battle up to three times a day. So just do it three times a day with your friends. It doesn't give you uh, much XP though. Yeah, not a lot of XP, but right. you get Stardust. So if you want Stardust for those trades. And you want to boost your friendship level faster. Which makes trading easier. Oh, it makes trading easier. Also, uh, fuck. <clears throat> oh, also, the damage your Pokemon take in battle do not oh, actually yeah. translate into their storage. Like, when you leave them at a gym, yeah. when they faint, you have to heal them. Well, when they faint in PvP, they take no real damage. Yeah, so, so you can battle nice. to your heart's content and you don't have to worry about resurrections or potions and all that sort of stuff. Yes, which I thought was amazing. The other thing, which I don't think either of us have, but in PvP specifically, um, you can get a second charge attack in PvP. Which are ridiculously expensive. Yeah, they're like crazy expensive. Like, I think I've got the item for it, but it's like 50,000 Stardust or whatever to use it. And, and it's candy. Just like, it costs a ton shit. of Oh, candy. yeah, that's the other thing. We were like, what the hell? He uses candy? That's not cool. Yeah, I think one of <laughs> one of my more powerful Pokemon had... Uh... You threw it on some place we couldn't <laughs> even get to. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> Jump to the thing. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, uh, that I thought was really awesome. Oh, we have a skill him. point. Why can't I spend it? I spent mine. Oh. You need to spend yours. There you go. There you go. Oh, Quillen. Yeah. What does this do? Uh, it's, I think it's just a kind of a completions thing. It might as well unlock the characters, maybe? Probably. So what we were saying uh, about Pokemon. We were talking about it? <laughs> yes. That, that is what Thank you. Oh, Appreciate that. Frozen. 
Oh, don't, <laughs> go, don't go that way. I drowned. <laughs> um, yeah. So I mean, Pokemon Go was uh, another uh, another game that is fuck has been I just great. Got double rammed. Holy shit! By those fire guys. That's fucking great, dude. They like Bronco Bucky too. Yeah, that fucking what's up. I think they're actually a little bit different than the other ones. There, there we go. Ooh. Oops. Fuck. <laughs> I did the thing again. Sorry for accidentally healing it. <laughs> I got this one frozen at least. Shit. You poisoned me, asshole. It was for victory. <laughs> no, they're both still alive. And it's for victory. You suck. Victory. But yeah, uh, I was very happy with the <laughs> with the PvP that they released. Yeah. So uh, come on, get it, get it. Shit. Ooh. Who is it? It's you. It's you. Run, run. Oh, oh you didn't run. Oh, that was bullshit. I wish. <laughs> You didn't run fast didn't, enough. I figured it would have resurrected Sunny. you. No, I think it's random who yeah, gets probably. the last chance. Ice spells. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, I mean that's uh that's basically what's going on in games. I mean I can I can definitely talk about Smash, I suppose. Um I've been playing uh the spirit mode which is the main campaign mode. Uh, it's pretty ridiculous, I gotta say. Like, um, so you're going around and you're battling like all of these different fighters who are approximations of different video game characters. I think I used the example last week of like, so for example, if you fight uh, Metal Gear Rex for Metal Gear Solid, you're actually fighting uh, Rob the Robot with a metal effect on and he's giant. And uh, so what happens then when you defeat them is you earn their spirit and you have this. Dude, whole... he's fire. Stop using fire. I'm talking. And kill those fuckers because they're killing them. Yeah. <laughs> um, is you earn their spirits and so you get a prime spirit and then they've got different slots and you can put other spirits into them like an RPG and that raises uh, different stats but the other thing is certain battles are very uh, unique like for example like there's a floor filled with poison and you need to get a specific spirit that's like immunity to poison in order to defeat that battler so there's a whole tug uh, tug and play mechanic in terms of what you need equipped per battle uh, as well as you need different characters on kind of the game map to unlock different things. Uh, for example, like there's this set of brothers who build bridges, and if a bridge is out, you got to have them equipped so you can build the bridge and progress uh, and get more spirits. So it's been a ton of fun. I still don't have all the characters yet, but um, I am definitely, definitely working on it. So, yeah. Yeah, fuck you. And then I guess I should probably say for those curious, I mentioned it way in the past, but uh, Nine Parchments, which we're playing right now, is a uh, top-down twin-stick shooter RPG in the style of Diablo, basically. And it's very much, uh, very much fun. A lot of fun. Yeah, Brock seems to be enjoying it, which is good because I cannot get my girlfriend to play this game with me because she accuses me of killing her character at all times, all day, every day. Yes, you probably were. And I say that it was a fucking mistake. I don't think we can get up there. No, it's probably worth a try. Oh, shit. Oh. I wish it would nice. catch more on fire. Agreed. Instead of just one. I'll have to look into leveling it up. Yeah. Is there a way to level up individual spells? spells? I don't know. But it does. Uh, oh, there are okay. aptitudes and all that stuff. Nope, nope. Down here. Nope. No. Nothing at all. Uh yeah, I don't 
I don't really know what else to talk about, man. For video game? I mean... I mean, that's it. That's that's all the topics. Uh, that's I mean, the show. Weird. That's, that's basically the show. Uh, well, let's just wrap it up then. And uh, Felt like a quick show. It did feel like a quick show. But we were also playing a game. Um, but then again, I don't usually do that like in person with another person next to me. That's true. Uh, at least this show, at any rate. Um, and for those wondering where Mike is again this week, uh, this was a different problem. Uh, he got fucked over by his work, and he got mandatory overtime. So he had no weekend whatsoever. Poor Mike. Send him your love. Uh, I'm Tim K. Trotter signing off. Until next time, get forked. Uh, check out our other podcast that uh, Brock is a main cast member on, The Fork in Your Path, an actual play RPG podcast, available right now. Uh, iTunes, wherever fine podcasts are not sold. It's funny. I yeah. swear you'll laugh. Yeah, there you go. He swears by it. Um, catch us on www.dynamicworksproductions.com. Tweet at us at GetForkPod, where you can join our Discord server and our and our family of, of, of maniacs down there. Uh, love you all, and uh, catch you next week. Happy holiday hunting if you're doing late fucking Christmas shopping. So there's that, too. Peace. Bye. Thank you for listening to a Dynamic Works production podcast. You can find our podcast at www.dynamicworksproductions.com. Feel free to email us at dynamicworks at mac.com. Armada, the voice of Guybrush Street, but and you're listening to a Dynamic Works production podcast. The Citadel, Arrival, is the first installment in a series of epic science fiction short stories reminiscent of the Pulp Fiction style. It's a fast-paced story that will take you through twists and turns that you will not expect, until they are thrust upon you with all the force, excitement, and chaos of a plasma cannon blast. The story follows Katarl, a nobody cog in the working wheels of a futuristic society run completely by Megacorp, a corporation that carefully runs and manages the lives of the people living under its sphere of power. On one of Katarl's few and far between days off from work, an outing he had hoped would be fun and relaxing turns into an explosive adventure that drags him kicking and screaming into situations and challenges that will make him question every aspect of his life. Watch this colorful tapestry unfurl as Katarl and his newfound allies find their way through this classic, yet oddly surprising tale of good and evil, where nothing is quite what it appears to be. That's The Citadel Arrival by author Tim K. Trotter, available right now on Amazon Kindle Store and iTunes iBookstore for only $2.99. Testing! One, two, three! Hello, hello! That looks way better. Way better! Perfect. Clacky noises. See how bad that shit is. It's gonna drive me nuts, but whatever. You know? uh, I need phone You can actually put your phone on there and it'll charge. Sweet. Uh, you can stand up, right? Okay, okay. There'll be a green light that'll kick on on the bottom when it's at the right. Push it over a little bit left. There you go. Right. All right, just letting you know we are beginning our recording. I don't know if you're back yet or with Jay or not, but we're recording now, okay? All right. Testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three, double check in the mic. Hello. It's so weird. Cut in! <laughs>